Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this virtual keyboard. And it actually works when you click on the keys. But the problem is I'm missing a couple keys because I don't know how to make them work. Like the caps key, the control key, um, the alt key, and so on. So we, all we have are numbers, letters, and the clear button which is clears everything instead of the backspace. Which clears it one by one. And for my for my space for my space bar, I used this because if I didn't use the underscore, you wouldn't know how much spaces you have typed. That's why I'm using underscores. So if I wanted to say I don't know something like hi guys, I would type hi and then guys like that, and then I'll just click clear to delete all of it. And yeah, that's all there is for this project. So let me show you how to build it. I hope you guys are excited on building this keyboard because I know I am. I had a lot of fun building it and I hope you guys will too. Let's get right into it. So first I'm going to create my boilerplate code by typing an exclamation mark then hitting enter. And then in between the two body tags I'll create a div and give it a class of main. And inside of that div, that is, it acts kind of like our container. And then inside of that, I'll type form, and I'll give it a name of keyboard, keyboard form. And our name, the name of it will be keyboard form as well. And inside of that form, I'll create a div and give it a class of screen. And inside of that div, I'll do input type equals text and the name of it will be screen and the ID will be screen as well because I might need to use it for the CSS and then I'll just use a read only attribute then we can do we can create a class I meant a div and give it an ID of I meant a class of button BTN and inside of this is where we start creating all of our keys. Let me refresh and show you what it looks like right now. Right now we have a blank web page, which makes sense. And then I'll, I'll do type equals button. And instead of doing button, uh, instead of doing it like this, I'm going to do it like this because it's easier in this case. Input type equals button and the name of it will be num1. This will be our number one key. So value equals one on click equals value button and type in this for our parameter and the forward slash and then after that we'll just copy all of this and paste it down until we get to 10 so two three four five ten. okay and now all we have to do is modify each of them so two three four five six seven eight wait wait I don't know why I typed six twice this should be seven and this should be eight and this should be nine and ten wait we actually don't need ten we can type the number ten by just using one and zero so but we'll keep it anyways it's fine. Then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. Okay. And we're done with that div. For our second row, for our keyboard, we'll do class equals BTN as well. And then we'll just copy and paste this until we get to P. So, yeah, so we have to create 10 keys so we'll just copy this down 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and our first six keys will be QWERTY so Q U W E E R T Y U uh, U I O P and we'll change all this to the same letter as well. So Q W 
R T Y. I hope you guys are following along so far because this can get kind of confusing with all of the code, with all of the lines of code. And then I O P. We're done with that. We can get started on our next row, which will have, let me see how many keys. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It'll have nine keys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this will be this will be A S D F G H J K L and we can go on to our next row. Actually, let's create the semicolon and colon key as well. But we'll give them two separate keys. So this will be our semicolon, this will be I mean that will be our colon and this will be our semicolon. Wait, like that, okay. And then on to our last row class equals btn and the last row has seven keys including the angle brackets and the forward slash you can put that in as well for yours but you don't have to and for our value we'll do z x c v b and, um, and then our forward slash and now we just have to create our space bar or our underscore bar and our clear one two and I think that's going to be our last two keys so this will be our space bar aka underscore bar so I'll just call it space bar for now and this will be our clear key and the value will be clear and I'm gonna give this a different function instead it's gonna say clear screen and for our space bar okay we'll keep it the same we'll give it the same function well and actually first let's take a look at how things look so far so we have all these keys hanging around up here in the corner and yeah that's what I was going to show you guys now let's get to the JavaScript we don't have to do too many things for the JavaScript we just have to do function value button that's the name of the function for all these so value button I'll put E for my parameter then keyboard form dot screen dot value e plus equals E dot value so let's test it out Okay, it's working. Great. At least we know we're on to the right track so far. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, all of it works. Our next function will be clear. And I'll just do keyboard form dot screen dot value equals null, which is nothing. So if I type in some numbers or letters and then press clear, hit clear it should go away but it's not oh I think oh the C wasn't capitalized that's why let's try one more time no oh it's clear screen okay my bad sorry it should work now if it doesn't work I don't know how to fix it yes thank god it works and for our actually I think we're done except we just need to do the CSS but it doesn't even look that bad without the CSS. So I might as well show you the CSS to it. So um, we'll do style. We'll type those two style tags and then style our main class. Position relative. Position relative height 100 VH, which is just 100%. Width 100%. Then display flex align 
items center justify content center as well I'll make a video um, teaching you guys about flex and what it does it's a very powerful property in CSS so that's why I like using it I'll go more in depth later on in the future but for now I'm just going to teach you these simple properties so position relative height 540 pixels width 560 pixels border 1 pixel solid black box shadow 0, 0, 10 pixel black and for our dot main dot keyboard form div I'll do height calc 540 pixels divided by 6 since there's going to be 6 rows and then width inherit display flex flex 1 actually you don't even have to put that since it's not going to change anything and then for our body we'll just do oops background color linear gradient and you can pick your own color I'm just gonna pick this it looks really ugly but at least it's better than having no color at all I'm not a very um I'm not very good at decorating like using CSS and all that whoops and now our calculator is being stretched out that's weird okay actually let's just forget about all these styles just keep it the way it is right now and we're done thanks for watching the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please drop a like and subscribe I know this wasn't a very good video because um, our calc our keyboard isn't aligned perfectly but I don't know what went wrong so if you guys know what went wrong please comment down below letting me know what went wrong and thanks for watching the video once again and hope you have a nice day see you in my next video